Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT. In this video, I will tell you how to make an Android phone application. This time, we will not convert the website to APK file and we will make a pure Android phone application. But by this tools, this is APP Invent uh, made by MIT. The important is this tools not need you write the code, so you can uh, not need to learn the program of the Android phone because that is a choice for the children, uh, for the education, for the IoT education. So it will be very easy. Just without any code, you can make the application just like this. Uh, we have let a demo, an easy, a small demo to control the relay board. So you can use the mobile phone and control every relay output uh, in the local network, not need the internet. And also this time, we have used the model building uh, to test the application. That will be understand easily. We have created the smart home building and we, this will use the APK file to test. Uh, just uh, import the IP and the port and we can press connect. Then we can press the open. Uh, this we have created the relay. I have pressed the swimming pool. You can see this LED uh, is light. Uh, just like this, uh, and the close, you can see this. And also you can see the grass have LED, we can press this, open, you can see the LED is on, and also we can press the close and on. And uh, uh, this is the room, this is the light, uh, light on and close. This is door, we can press open the door, you can see the door is open and uh, close the door. And there is a garage that we can press open. And uh, close. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, music from the TV. Uh, we can also change the TV source like this. I can change the TV source. This is camera. I can, this is my hand. This is the camera. And also we can change uh, back to the TV, play the video, and this is for the change. Okay, let's look at the APP event. This made by MIT is free. We can search on the Google. You can see this link, and we can open this website. You can use this software online, not need to install the software in your local machine. You just press this button, create apps. You will open this window, uh, just uh, as logging by your Google account, uh, you can see this window. And you use this in point project. We have already made the project. And uh, you can download the project file. This is a demo. Uh, we have uploaded to our phone. Uh, you can download this, this zip file. When you unzip, you can see this photo and uh, these files. This AIA file is the project of the event and we press open, and press OK. Now wait for a moment, uh, the file will upload to the app event. OK, this is the project. Uh, uh, we can open this project. You can see this window, and uh, this is the mobile phone interface. And uh, the window, you can see this is the user interface. You can see the button, the title, and uh, any components. You can just uh, dry out dry out, dry out, and this is the uh, property of the components. Uh, you can set the name uh, and the title. Uh, before we start, uh, you need to click this extension. You need to install the TCP client plugin. Uh, I have already installed. Uh, you can import uh, when you first use, because this is the file we have prepared for your relay controller. We have made the this AIX file and just open and in point. So this is for your relay controller uh, to use. We have prepared for you. And when you import this project, you can see there are many buttons. Uh, you can change, uh, change the position. Uh, you can change to anywhere just you want. And uh, the, the text, you uh, can also change like this, uh, test IP address, and this is a part and you can change on this way. And this is icon, uh, the 
when you reopen and close with the icon and the button. So this is very easy. So this is very easy. Just uh, uh, choose this node. Uh, Drag it to this way. Uh, Drag it to this way. You can place, I have already placed four, six channels. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six channels for test. And this is a design window. And this is a block. Uh, you can see many colorful nodes. Uh, that is very easy. Uh, you can very easy to understand. And this is two work mode to change. Uh, this is for place the window uh, for the UI design. And this is for block uh, just any button and any function for the logical. Uh, you can see uh, like uh, when I press open the real one, when I click, uh, it's very easy to understand uh, if the TCP client, this is the node uh, for the communication, uh, is connection. Uh, then we can send this command, uh, this stream for TCP, send this command to turn on relay one. Uh, why send this stream? You can see our protocol, our relay controller protocol. Uh, you can see in our website and this development uh, and this SDK API and DIY, uh, this, this place uh, you can see the protocol, we can send this command, and many commands you can use in this document, you can see the protocol. And when we back to the app event. So if you want to click on the button, like this button, when I click on, then it will run in this progress. Uh, so it's very easy. I just uh, can see the English words. Uh, I think you can, I think you can understand what this means. And this is a click one, and this is a close one. A close one, just uh, when the TCP connector is true, uh, then we can send a date. Uh, this is uh, zero. Uh, this is one, one means open, and zero means close. Uh, so every channel, like this, uh, many nodes, just the thing, all is the thing. So the main progress, just this section. OK, this is the uh, country relay output. And this is, you can see, when you get the received, uh, when a TCP communication is data received, uh, if you have the string, uh, have uh, this string, that means relay one is on. So we can set the state, the picture, to this open.png. This is a lamp of the photo. And this is close and just off the state of the lamp. So this is two different uh, photo. So we can, according to, receive different, this different string and a different string for on and off to change the picture to show you. So this is to change the state of the relay. Uh, you can see many channels. Uh, uh, every channel is seen, just like, just this section is seen. OK, you can see this is a connect, connect button, just uh, this one and disconnect. It's also easy to understand. When we press this connect, uh, if you have input the test of the IP address and uh, port, input point, and not empty, so we can set the IP and the port for the TCP client node. Uh, when set uh, the value to the TCP client, we can just uh, uh, do the connection uh, progress. OK, this is for the connection. And this is disconnection, just a one command, uh, TCP client disconnection. And this is time one, time two. This time one is to check uh, the uh, TCP connection state. Uh, check the state uh, to change uh, whether it's connect or whether it's disconnect uh, on the mobile phone screen. And this is time two is for Search, uh, always search is the relay state. I uh, just send this command uh, to get the relay input, uh, get the relay state. You can uh, refresh the state of the lamp, uh, whether it's on and off. So this is four function, uh, connection for communication and uh, check the uh, connector state and uh, check the relay state and uh, do the on and off for the relay. So this is the four functions you can to learn 
and this is design and put your all buttons and all this interface and all parts are to your this window. So this just to set the property. And also you can see uh, like this, uh, this is a time, like every 500, every 500 uh, MS uh, to refresh. And this is time to every two seconds uh, to refresh, uh, to repeat the functions. Okay, when you complete all this, you just click this build APK file. This item just provide the QR code because when we press this, the APK file will upload to APP Invent website and automatically generate a QR code for you to scan by your mobile phone to download. So it will be convenient to use. We can wait for a moment because it will upload at any time and also generate the QR code. Okay, this is complete. Now it is generate the QR code. You can use your mobile phone, uh, scan this QR code to download and install the software. This is way one. And another way, we can save the APK file to our computer. Uh, click this. It will generate the APK file and download. Download this file to our computer. Okay, this APK file will save the download file though. Uh, you can see now the APK file is downloaded. Okay, this is easy for you to design and make your own application of Android. Now you can create the application for Android phone. I think you can realize your many ideas uh, for your job. Uh, some small project and some simple APK application you can make by yourself by this way, by this app event. Okay, thanks for watching.